Windows or Chrome. Take a look at it. I noticed it's a little heavier than the original that I had. Can't be sure exactly because I traded that in towards this, but it feels it's got to be at least a pound heavier or more. Anyway, uh, I did notice as well they took off the handle, so this thing you had to carry it in a bag, which is kind of awkward, but anyway, let's open her up and see what's inside. I ended up getting this for 11 bucks after my trade deals, because I happened to go in when they had one of their promotions for double credit and all that sort of junk. Alrighty. You get your quick start guide, but don't care about that. What do we got here? Let's see here. Oh, full size power. I guess they're moving away from the tiny power that we're using. They're using one of those standard. Cords. Tiny little charging cable for the controller. Yeah, come on. HDMI. They said it's 2.0, but it doesn't matter. I have a better one upstairs anyway. Controller. Let's take a look. Does it look any different? Yeah, a little bit. It's got some writing on there. That's different. It's got something with lights up there, I think. The controller feels a little different. Sh I don't know, it just feels a little... That feels a little better, actually, in my hands than the original. Cool. So that's that. A <laughs> little headset that nobody will ever use. <laughs> Let's take a look at the system. Oh, it's not nearly as big as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be some ugly monstrosity. It doesn't even look that much bigger than the original one was. Oh, look. <laughs> The rubber feet are in the shape of the, the PlayStation controller buttons. That's different. Let me get one of these little thingies. What the hell is that? I don't like you. Get off. Get off. There we go. Ugh, I hate those little plastic things they put on. Okay, so yeah, they, did, they went with a bigger plug, bigger power cord plug, HDMI, I guess that's for the camera, which I found out I did have, it was buried somewhere in my room, uh, Ethernet, extra USB on the back, uh, I don't think that was on the original, no it wasn't, optical out, great, <coughs> oh, they moved the USB port to the right, the physical touch button here, instead of the thing where you hovered your finger over it. Power button. Nothing else there, just the, the logos of what they have in them. The air vent. Now, I'm going to be replacing the hard drive in this. I've got a 500 gig solid state drive, which is like 10 times faster than the drive that comes in here. And I don't plan on installing a million games, so it's not a big deal. It used to be the old version, you just sort of popped off the side like that and then exposed the hard drive tray. I think it's probably what this plastic thing, oh, it is. How do you, so what do you do? Do you peel? What do you do?
blah, blah, blah. And that's where it is. You can see where the hard drive is. you got to do something here to get that open. I shall figure it out. Once I've figured it out, I'll record another part of the video and we'll put it together. So, that's it. It's not nearly as big as it looks like. But I heard the slim is like, I think, two edges. Anyway, I'm going to figure out how to open up the back. here. It seems crude, but you're supposed to just pull forward towards you. Ha! Felt like I was going to break it. Thought I was going to break it. Didn't break. Okay, so now there's just one Phillips screw there. Get this sucker out. Oops. Two maybe? Once this guy is out through there, should be able to slide you straight out. Come on, come on. Oh. Bam. All right. Now this is honestly like the best feature that Sony has over any other game consoles. It doesn't void your warranty at all to change the hard drive. They give you official instructions on how to do it. Uh, you're not stuck with using their you know, whatever they put in it. They usually put a slow a slow drive. It's, it's a higher capacity. It's a terabyte's not bad, but for, you know, around 100 bucks or so, you can get a faster 2 terabyte drive to put in if you, you know, need tons of storage. But in my case, I would just prefer to load faster, uh, install games faster, and just, just use less power, you create less heat. You know, if I bump it, it's not going to have any issues with shock. So I'm putting in a <coughs> gently used 500 gig solid state drive that I was in an old Macintosh, uh, Mac or I guess a Mac Mini I had, and it's it's like four years old. Yet I didn't ran a test on it, and it's like like 90% of its life left. So I didn't have to pay anything extra for it. Just gonna pop that in. When this thing eventually dies, whew, big whoop! All your saves are in the cloud anyway, so I can just go in and buy another drive for 100, 150 bucks, pop it in. So let's take this off. So to install the actual software, you have to go to Sony's website, download the newest update for it. Now, instead of installing the update, you want to search uh, below that. There's a link uh, to a full installation, which is what you use when you're installing to a new hard drive. So it's about 900 megs or so to download. And then once you've got it on your USB stick, you have to make a folder um, PS4. And then inside of that folder, you make one that says think it's update in all capital letters. If not, they, they have the instructions right on the page for you, so you can do it that way. Pop your USB stick in, boot it up, it's going to go, hey, there's a hard drive here, we need to recover the software, blah, 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 blah. Install that, and you're good to go. and game. 
comes to it again. So it's probably going to let that go overnight. So easy peasy. Upside down. And ready to go. Now I also picked up a game for it. Where are you? I picked up Shadow of Mordor, Game of the Year edition. Had credit, so it completely covered it. Reason being, this game has an update to work with the PS4 Pro's advanced hardware, and apparently it's the best one on the market right now for improvements. So I'm going to test it out and I'll let you guys know exactly what it, how it turns out, if I like it, if I can notice a difference. So anyway, I'm going to go hook it up, download a whole bunch of updates, get it going. 